Hey, I'm Doublelift from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champ guide to Lucian. For Solo Q, Lucian's got to be probably an 8 or 9 out of 10. He's just all around really good. No real counter picks at the moment. If you lose lane, you probably got outplayed, or you could have done something much better. Uh, so he's super lane dominant. He's got no problems mid game. His late game is a lot better than it used to be, so it's still good. Like overall, he's just the full package AD at the moment. Best bottom pick AD by far. Best solo queue AD, maybe even a 10, but I'd say 10 is like an unattainable rating for solo queue. Lucian's laning is super strong. You can dictate the pace level one. With the melee support, you want to get pushed in. So try to control the wave to get pushed in and poke with your Q. With the range support, you generally want to push them in and play sort of away from the wave. Try not to get too close to the tower, but poking them. With some supports like Thresh, you actually just want the wave to be completely even. It really just depends on the matchup. I mean, always depends on 2v2 matchup, the jungle pressure, things like that. If you did a camp, if they did a camp. Really, Lucian has such good wave control because as you queue the wave you'll poke them and most ad's have really big problems pushing and poking at the same time but lucian has just such a powerful tool with his q he also can get away from pretty much every gank with his e it's just such a fast and pretty long dash in his landing phase play aggressive play confident and use your q really often and try not to waste man on your e so before a team fight even starts you should probably look for a calling opportunity on a backliner usually uh Zareth or you know Misfortune will walk up a little too far up or Oriana or something and you'll just be able to get a chunk of them to half HP or even kill them with your calling and you want to always look for these opportunities to blow big cooldowns or get people really low before a fight even starts because calling is a waste of time when a team fight's going on but before the fight it's got super long range and you can move with it so it's OP. I'll even use calling sometimes to blow Alistair ulti because it's totally worth it and then when a team fight starts you want to just always be using your abilities. With your build you have 40% CDR so usually the, the right combo is auto Q and as the autos are in midair you'll dash then you'll get the second double auto W and then on that light slinger your, your W's light slinger you'll dash again and by that time your Q will probably be back up or you'll have to stagger like one auto and then Q and then just keep repeating this process of just spamming your Q and E and making sure you're maximizing the cooldown reduction on your light slinger. Uh, for the most part you'll be able to kill a tank in like five seconds or something really really insignificant. I think Lucian is really strong in competitive play because you can blind him. Uh, usually AD counter picks don't really exist too much. There's like Draven that counters Vayne, You'll see the pocket picks for ADs, but the best ADs are always the ones you can blind pick that will fit in any team comp. Right now, that's Lucian, and he just does extremely well in every situation. Even even in the like face of all of his potential counter picks, he still does fine. Like he can still farm out and do an average job. So I really expect every team to pick him early. Um, he's not ban worthy, but definitely he's pick worthy early, and. Yeah, I mean, if you're a competitive team and you want to do well, you need to learn how to play Lucian. First tip on Lucian is the WE. You press W and E at the exact same time. As you're casting it, you'll kind of slide with your E. Okay, first, you should understand the how the animation works. So all you need to do, do, do is worry about the first auto. As soon as the first auto goes off, you want to dash. Usually people I see will Q, they'll double auto, and then those two autos will hit, and then they'll dash. You pretty much always want to animation cancel. If you do it too fast, then your, your autos won't even go off, and that will really suck. Uh, if you do it too slow, then you won't get the cooldown reduction. So it's really just about working on your timing, working on your combos. Pra even practicing on creep sometimes will help you. For runes, I run attack speed quints, AD marks, armor seals, and CDR blues. The reason why I run CDR blues instead of magic resist is because Lucian scales really well with cooldown reduction, and especially with the changes to Essence Reaver it's really important that you make sure you hit that cap and be at 40% CDR. Lucian's masteries are really similar to pretty much every ADs now, except for Corky, going for a battle is definitely the best, especially on Lucian when your passive is getting double autos and you're casting a lot of abilities, which increases the rate at which you stack forever. Dangerous game is really strong on a cleanup sort of AD carry like Lucian. And early game, he runs into mana problems, so having that biscuit helps a little bit. Uh, but Mostly, you pick this mastery page because it's best on every AD carry except for Corky, who goes Thunderlords. Get used to running this page. If you main AD carry, you're probably only going to need one for the next couple months. 
For Lucian's skill order, you want to max Q first and go Q level 1. Level 2, go E. Level 3, go Q again. And then just get one point in your W at 4 and leave it for basically the rest of the game. Maxing Q first, then your E, and your ulti whenever you can. Lucian's item build has evolved a lot across competitive play. These days, the best build, in my opinion, is Essence Reaver into Fire Cannon Lucidity Boots. This is going to give you exactly 40% CDR, which is super strong. Lucidity Boots also happens to be the cheapest boot upgrade tied with uh, Boots of Swiftness. Once you have 40% CDR on the spike, you're going to be able to dash in and out and cast your Q more often, which is just going to compound on itself. So it's kind of like a, a cyclical spell rotation you go through where you're just dashing, queuing, and dashing and queuing more. Having CDR really just assists you in doing what Lucian does best. Thanks for watching this basic champ guide on Lucian. Make sure to check out guides like this over at lawclass.com.